Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Ham Radio K Zero P I R, and today I'm going to be talking about chirp and running it on the Raspberry Pi. I'm going to be using a little Baofeng radio to program. That's up next. Okay, I'm using the latest Raspberry Pi, the Raspberry Pi 3, and I've got all my software loaded. It's up to date. I'm going to install Chirp, and I can do that through the command line real easy. I'll put some links below and uh, show you where I, I got this off of the web page. But uh, I could install it from uh, the Synaptic Package Manager, or I could install it from uh, the other manager, uh, add, add and Remove Software. Uh, application and Raspbian but uh, another way to do it real easy is just to install it from command line so I'll open up a terminal window and uh, it's real simple uh, real simple command to, to type in is sudo app get install chirp and uh, you need to make sure that you have your uh, Raspberry Pi up to date hit enter gonna build and install it only takes uh, about a minute to do it this is an older version of chirp it doesn't uh, have a lot but it is uh, it's working I've been using it and let me see where it is it is underneath oh where to go underneath other and I'm going to right click and then left click to add it to the desktop double click to open it up next thing you do is plug my little handheld into the Raspberry Pi and to do that I'm using uh, this cable real cheap cable I got off of Amazon this is uh, one of the prolific cables what I'll do is plug it in to one of the USB ports on the Raspberry Pi and hopefully it uh, recognizes it right away next thing to do is plug it in to the side of the radio I'm going to turn it off hope you can see this Make sure it's tight. Going to go to radio and download from radio. And uh, this is my USB port, Baofeng, and this is my radio here. I'll click OK. It gives me some instructions. I need to turn the radio on. OK. and my little LED on front of the radio is flashing so I know it's cloning getting the information that's on the radio and I already have I already have a lot of frequencies programmed into it which is really cool let me show you how I did this I'm going to delete all of these memories. Okay, so I deleted everything I had. I've left that one in there. That's the calling frequency. The first time you do it, you'll have something in there, and I just changed it to the calling frequency. So the uh, next thing I want to do is go to radio, import from data source, and I use repeater book. And I'm going to, re oh, let me do, uh, yeah, I'm going to do all the counties, and I'm going to get uh, all of the, all the two meter in right now. Just takes it a minute. And it's going to start at frequency one. Oh, that's my phone. I'm gonna have to pause for a second. Work calls. 
Okay, I'm back, and uh, let's see where we left off. I'm going to import uh, from uh, this file. Uh, it's a CSV file, and it's going to start at the correct location, row 1. So all I have to do is, uh, all of them are selected, just click OK. And it puts them all in there. Okay, and it left off at number 44. So I'm going to be going to Hamvention in Ohio. I want to get some uh, frequencies from there. And I believe it's Montgomery County. There, 2 meter. I'm going to put them in uh, starting at row 44. All I had to do was run up the street and do a little work and come right back. It only took me a half hour. Okay, so here are the repeater frequencies from uh, got Dayton in there. And you see it wants to start on row 1 and we don't want it to start on row 1 so we're going to add 10. And add another 10. Keep going until we get to 44. I'm going to click 1 a couple of times. So it's going to start on row 44. They're all selected, the ones that I want. Click OK. And now I have uh, repeater frequencies for Ohio, Montgomery County. And I'm going to be good to go when I get there. Now I think I want to add some 440. So let me click on the radio import from repeater book. And behind those frequencies, I'm going to put more South Dakota. All of them. And 440. I'm going to start at 58. See what I can get here. There it is. It's starting at the, the wrong location. I want to start at 58, so I'm going to click 10. Okay, starting at 58. They're all selected. Click OK. Now I've got some 440 frequencies in there. Uh, should I add some from Montgomery County? I could do that. Let me go in to the radio and port. Oops, wrong one. I haven't tried out these other ones. Let me go back to Ohio, Montgomery County. And 70 centimeters. Click OK. I'm going to start at 85. OK. So I need to click until I can get to 85. 81, 2, 3, 85. They're all selected. Got the Dayton ones in there. I click OK. And it puts them in. So I have the South Dakota 2 meter frequencies. I've got some uh, Ohio 2 meter frequencies. I've got South Dakota 440 and Ohio 440. Now I need to write this to the radio. So radio, upload to radio. Click OK. Gives me the instructions. It's turned on. My light's flashing. When it gets to the end, it's going to start uh, restart the little radio. Can you see it? Alright. 
Well, that does it. I can save this file. Click on File and Save. And just put a name on it. Uh, my uh, Balfang. Uh, repeater frequencies South Dakota and Ohio save it so I've got it ready to go uh, if I lose it I can pull it right back up on this image file alright that does it and I'm going to program another radio I'm getting tomorrow a little bit newer one I believe uh, 8 watt model and I hope it works as good as this one. This one's been giving me trouble. The uh, LCD on it uh, goes out and I can't read any frequencies. Uh, it lights up, but uh, I can't read the frequencies. And right now it's working. So I wanted to get this video done while it's working. And uh, I've used this radio for a couple of years at least. It works really, well, it works good. I'm not going to say it works really great, but it works good. Uh, it's definitely a good good value. Uh, I think they're like twenty four dollars on uh, Amazon right now. I'll put some links below. And uh, if you got any questions, just shoot me an email. Uh, put a comment below. I'll be happy to answer and help if I can. I'm off to Hamvention next uh, week, and hope to see some of y'all there. Thanks for watching. Seventy three and good DX.